we present a novel, partially supervised approach for hand-pulse estimation from depth images that uses a generative model-based loss. The use of a generative model-based loss allows our approach to learn from the input depth image itself, which greatly reduces the amount of difficulty to obtain 3D annotations needed to train a learning-based method. Our method requires only six key point annotations, five for the fingertips and one for the wrist. Using this reduced set of annotations, our method can correctly infer the 15 joint locations and the 20 bone lengths of a kinematic hand model. This is a challenging and ambiguous task to learn from the reduced set of annotations alone. Additionally, when the annotations in the training data have biases, our method can train using these biased annotations and produce more plausible predictions that better explain the depth images. Note that the average drawing errors of our predictions against the biased ground truth far exceeds the reported errors from the current state-of-the-art methods. This suggests that the existing methods tend to overfit to the biases in the dataset. We use a kinematic skeleton to represent the pose and shape of the hand. The pose is specified by joint angles and the global rotation and translation. We note this as theta. The hand shape is defined by bone length, B, which is parameterized with the coefficients of a PCA basis, beta. These two sets of parameters fully specify the joint locations of the hand through the application of forward kinematics. We approximate the hand volume with a collection of 3D Gaussians, each rigidly attached to a bone and articulates with it. When given a monocular depth image, we train a convolutional neural network, or CNN, to regress kinematic parameters for specifying a 3D hand model. For training the CNN, we minimize the dissimilarity between a rendered image space representation of the model and the representation of the input depth image. The resulting architecture resembles an autoencoder. The CNN can be seen as an encoder that maps a depth image into a semantically meaningful code vector specifying the 3D shape and pose of the hand. A fixed decoder then maps this code to a 2D image Gaussian representation by rendering each of the 3D Gaussians. The original image is then simplified into a similar 2D image Gaussian representation and the negative overlap between the two sets of 2D Gaussian functions is used as a self-supervised dissimilarity loss. An additional joint loss is provided for a subset of six key points in order to guide the CNN to the correct minimum of a non-convex dissimilarity loss. Lastly, we regularize the encoding with a PCA-based bone length prior, a joint limit penalty, and a collision penalty to ensure the predicted co-vector represent a hand with physically plausible shape and pose. When the dissimilarity loss is removed, the hand pose estimation problem is under constraint. As a result, the network learns to distort hand pose to match wrong bone lengths in order to minimize fingertip errors. Additionally, when bias exists in the annotation, Removing the dissimilarity loss leads to the method overfitting to the annotations. While the method with the loss overcomes this bias. Under extreme noise from the depth sensor, or when there is heavy self-occlusion, not enough of the depth image exists for the generative loss to supervise the CNN. This results in instabilities in the predictions. Now we show more randomly select the results.
Thank you for watching.